a London court has made a move to uh, confiscate 113 million uh, US dollars that belongs to uh, this Abacha brother, James Ibori. Uh, will be, uh, you know, <laughs> now that former Delta state, state governor. They don't collect one 4.2 million dollar pounds from him family before, uh, but another one don't show, showcase now. Uh, but <laughs> you know, we don't get shape for this uh, part of the world. Uh, you know, the masses still get out if they talk. Well, July 11, yesterday, nine Britain says we will seek to confiscate another. Uh, one and 1.5 million pounds, equivalent of 130 million dollars, from James Ibori, former Nigeria state governor, who abused his office to get rich and laundered millions in Britain and elsewhere under a court order issued in London on Friday. Now the point is, I think, I think after his, after I, it's just unfortunate the way we do things in this country. You know, they even comes back and then the people, the poor people, foolish people. Celebrating meaning it. They seem they're supposed to carry again. Maybe they're supposed to carry and go go court again. Say, eh, so now you still have money. They're supposed to carry and from me. As in the people here, he states people supposed to carry and go court. But unfortunately, now they go they celebrate and I'm not going to surprise saying don't collect shit and sit out since he don't return back now from prison where he go. You know, that time then give him 13 years. I think now 13 years now then give him then when he at when he did there for half as uh, the standard. Ibori, who is in Nigeria presently, said he would appeal against the confiscation order, one of the largest imposed on an individual in recent British legacy history. This as in on an individual. This is, he is making history. That means he is making history. Fortunately, the very wrong one. The next step will be to take my flight, my fight for justice to the highest courts in the UK. He said in a statement, Ibori was governor of the oil producing state, Delta State, from 1999 to 2007 and was extradited from Dubai to, the, to Britain in 2011. He pleaded guilty in 2012 to 10 counts of fraud and money laundry and received a 13 year jail time, you know, sentencing, of which he served half as his standard. The case was held as, the, as, a, whole, as a landmark in the fight against corruption in Britain, as in, hmm. Oh, bros. Well, now, so we see, Anja. This, that's a recent uh, development. Drop your comment, make them simple and simple. Because uh, I just, you know, when I look, you know, your bago talks, say, Kafi or us, and I mean, Kafi said, Nuka Dake, you know, uh, be the problem be say, as you they do one like this, now another one go to showcase. As you they do that one like now, another one go to show. And as you, they, you know, we not just understand. You know everything. All our leaders, our leaders, can they terrible? You know if you trust anybody. See what Tim Rufai talked yesterday. Say, look. He say you know if you forgive governors. Look what they do during that COVID nineteen palliative. They can't go lock them up for inside inside warehouse. People they suffer. Ah. And these are people that we voted into office. Whether directly or indirectly, at least they said they, they say we are the one that put them there. They said, unfortunately, they work for themselves when they get there. A palliative that is meant for a whole state, one governor will lock, lock it up in a warehouse. Thing where you know use your money by. If I remember, I said one time that, that one said, said he said one take and do in bed day, bed day souvenir, palliative. Won't take and do birthday souvenir. Hey, you know how much money we this one does to All this one now, if it be chicken change for the many way they in hand. So now money we they inside banco. So we don't hear people will put money inside soccer way. People will put money inside reservoir, inside uh, overhead tank. They put money inside roof. I don't know where now they carry the money go. Now no feature of pass. Now the fear say you go become and the truth is say that poverty go still hunt you now and it go catch you now. It's a matter of time. Well, this is serious matters here at Tony TV. Please do share our videos with others. Drop your comment. Make them simple and simple. Uh, we're doing our best to giving you the best. And so whatever we're not doing right, please let us know so that we can do better. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Olukunle Brands. Please do enjoy your weekend. God bless you. Bye bye.